Nothing beats that very first bite into a perfectly cooked burger. Every component, from the meat selection to the grilling technique and toppings, makes all the difference between a good burger and a great one. I'd like to show you two types of burgers you can make to deliver satisfying, crowd-pleasing results. Today I'll be joined by Matthew Eads, cookbook author, personal chef, and food blogger. He's a former U.S. Marine and a trusted leader in grilling and barbecue using simple ingredients and expert techniques. Matt will show us how he makes his classic diner-style burgers, and I'll show you how I make another coast-to-coast favorite, our Kalamazoo sliders. I'm Russ Falk, Grillmaster and Chief Designer for Kalamazoo Outdoor Gourmet. I've been a grilling enthusiast for more than 40 years, and I'm here to help you master the techniques that will take your live fire cooking to the next level. All right, Russ, hybrid fire grill, you know I love this thing. Talk to us a little bit more today about the surfaces. Yeah, I know one of the things that you like is how much heat these heavy surfaces yes. hold and how they really are good for browning. But in terms of browning, we have several different patterns for different styles of cooking. The one in the middle, we call that our meat pattern. Right. It's the most wide open, wide exposure to the flame. So it's a great all-purpose surface. Sure. Our veggie surface is basically the same thing, but with the slots narrowed down a lot more. Right, so asparagus yeah. and green beans don't fall through. You don't yeah, have to use those yeah. veggie baskets. And then the tightest pattern of all is our fish surface, which was developed to support delicate white fish fillets, but you can use it for all kinds of things. I like to do an all over sear on filet mignon with it. You can do lightweight stir fry, fajita veggies. It's oh, gonna yeah. hold some of the juices, angry onions, yeah. things like that are great on there. I would imagine it's almost like a cast iron pan. with the... A lot like that, but it's gonna let some of the liquid go through so you're sure. not sauteing, you're still yeah. grilling. Yep. Um, interestingly, today we're going to do burgers on the veggie surface. Okay. I love doing burgers on the vegetable surface because it's got more contact area, so I get That's quicker right. browning, and I can keep those burgers nice and medium while getting that crust on the outside. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to show us how to do diner-style burgers on yeah. the plancha. I love to cook on the griddle. This thing gets super hot. Diner burgers only take about four minutes to start Wonderful. to finish. So. Wonderful. Well, let's get this changed out to start. Swap this in, then we're all ready to get some charcoal going for our burgers. All right, let's do it. Okay. I like to do the Kalamazoo sliders for charcoal. I'm gonna get the hybrid fire grilling grill loaded up here. One real nice thing is I'm gonna be able to use the warming rack high above the fire to get my onions started while the charcoal fire is getting going. That single layer there will do it. Then I'll give it the gas. Every burner in the Kalamazoo is equipped with a safety device that cuts off the flow of gas if it doesn't sense heat. I've got to give that safety device a little bit of time to heat up before I let go of the knob. For the Kalamazoo sliders, uh, I want to get some grilled red onions going. The charcoal fire is gonna take about a half an hour to be ready. Okay. I'm gonna slice these really thick because it's a fun trick later on. We're gonna use these grilled onion slices as almost little swimming pools to hold our cambazola, which okay. melts into a buttery, amazing sauce. Yeah, while the fire, pretty thick. Yeah, while the fire's getting going, we can get these cooking up top. All right. So You're going to use the warming rack then to cook these? Yep. They'll be on the warming rack so they're so high above the charcoal that they're, you know, not going to burn too bad. Okay. And we're going to end up discarding the outside so I don't have to worry about peeling them or anything. You're just looking to soften them up then up there in the warming rack. Yeah, they're going to be completely softened and hopefully black on the on the edges. Okay. This is a uh, fine gray sea salt. I use it all the time. Either that or kosher salt. Let's get these over to the grill. We'll toss them on real quick. All right, let's do it. We're just gonna put them up here and let them do their thing. You said about half hour or so to get this thing rolling? I think so. Okay. The other thing I wanna get going is our pretzel rolls. Uh, we're gonna get a good dose of olive oil on these. Okay. And we'll grill them a little bit. We're just looking to get a little char on the bun. Yeah, just some nice, beautiful browning. The only ingredients on this are the grilled red onions, the patties, the pretzel buns, and then the cambazola cheese. All right, so let's get started on those patties. Okay, let me get out of your way here. Sure. Now you make your patties a little bit oversized, right, from the buns? I do, especially for um, grilling over such high heat. I like the patties to be a certain thickness uh -huh. so I can get them nice and medium while still getting a really good crust on the outside. Right. Um, which is why we do these as quarter pounders. Sure. If I did these as a full size, hamburger they'd be half pounders yeah, right you know which is a lot 
So what I like to do, actually, why don't you grab one of those bumps there? Yeah, sure. With your clean hands. Yep. So if you hold that up over there. We're looking at. I basically think of the inside of my hand, that sort of curve as the size of the bun. I want the patty to be the outside of my finger. Okay. They're gonna shrink up to be about the size of the bun. Right. I don't like it when the when the burger ends up smaller, sure. obviously. Yeah, so, yep. And I noticed you've got kind of a raised lip around the bun too. Yeah, I recess the centers because they tend to puff up in the middle. Right. So what this does is they're gonna shrink down to the diameter of the bun and they're gonna turn out flat. Okay, perfect. If we didn't recess the middle, and I think I first learned this trick from Bobby Flay, if we don't recess the middle, it puffs up in the middle. Yeah. And then that's why you get those burgers that are almost raw uh -huh. on the inside and yes. well done on the edge. So we give it a good chance of coming out even by being recessed in the middle to begin yep. with. And we're looking at about three quarters of an inch thick here or so? Somewhere in there, yeah. Yep. All right, so do you season these up then after you patty them out, I guess? I do. So these are just 8515 lean ground beef. This is actually grass-fed brown ground beef. I think it works well for these burgers. Okay. Um, I give them a nice coating of olive oil, which is going to help with the crust on the outside. Sure. The, the 8515 is nice because it's got enough fat that it, they're going to be juicy right. and, and delicious, uh, but they're not, you know, crazy fire bombs on the Sure, ground. not going to flare up on you over there. Right. Right. Okay. And you're going back with the, uh, with the gray sea salt? More gray sea salt. And you can put a fair amount of seasoning on these because we're going to lose a lot of that on the grill as they cook. All right. All right. These patties look great. Yeah, let me wash my hands and we'll check on the onions. Okay. All right. Our onions should be done. Oh, they smell take good. Yeah, nice and soft. A little bit nice of char. Yeah. So we got to pull these out, pull these apart into separate rings. Right, that's what you make your swimming pool out of, right? Yeah, to okay. hold the cheese on when it melts. Otherwise, there'd be no cheese left on the patty when we were done. Okay. You want the buns now, or? Uh, yeah, let's see if we can toast those up real quick. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Two by two. Probably good. Okay. Nice and toasty, nice. I like that. Yeah. Okay, let me All get right. these out of your way. Here we go. You said about three minutes aside on these? Should be somewhere in there, somewhere between two and three. Okay. We're running pretty hot today. That Corbacho Blanco charcoal sure does uh, get ripping. Yeah, I can feel it from here. I'm gonna go in here and rotate each patty about 90 degrees for a little bit before we flip it kind of maximize the browning we get from those veggie grates. Then in just a minute when we flip them, we're gonna work real quick together. Uh, back to if you can hand me the cheese yeah, in okay. preparation. If you make the swimming pools, I'll drop the cheese in the pool. Sounds good. We'll start back to front then with the cheese? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just flip them all, then we can get in there. Have you ever had campazola before? I have, and I love it. It melts almost into a sauce on these burgers. Yeah, 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 yeah. very similar, like a brie. Okay. Okay, let's close her up and get that melted. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Well, look at that good. cheese filling up the swimming pools. Yep. I'll do what I can to help you with the buns. Wonderful. It keep these together nicely. Okay. There we go. Move this around a little bit so we can keep them going. All right, Matt, I've got my napkin. You've got your napkin. I've got mine. I've got my beer, you've got your beer. Yes. You ready? Let's do this thing. I'm going in. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just the most decadent things. Yeah. So now that we've filled ourselves with uh, these burgers, you ready to make your diner burgers? Uh, you know what, I feel like they're not gonna compare, but I'm happy to, I'm oh. happy to do it. I've, I've, made a I've seen them, kitchen. I know they're awesome. <laughs>
So Matt, I've been looking forward to these diner style cheeseburgers all day. Yeah, you're in for a treat. Uh, so this is a, a diner style burger that I've been doing for a while. They're great on a griddle and they are, they, they remind you of the diner that you showed up to when you were a kid. It's a thin burger, it's a little salty, it gets a little crunchy on the outside, cooks really quick. Top it with some cheese, and then the toppings are just going to be pretty basic. Tomato, lettuce, onion. Nice. Yeah, well, why don't you get some tomatoes and onions sliced up? I'm going to patty up the burgers, and then we'll get them over here on the plancha. Great. All right. So, got some burgers down here in the fridge. So those are quarter pound balls these are measured quarter, out? Yeah, quarter pound balls. And again, these are 80-20. Uh, I just put them in a, this is a tortilla press. I use it as a burger press. That's great. Yep. Takes How do you all... keep from smashing it super thin? Well, it's got a it's got a little uh, bushing on the side, and I can set the depth of it. So, oh, you can a, change the a, thickness. A, yeah, just a quick quick press, and that that's all there's great. to it. Yep. Fantastic. So we'll transfer these over here. Now I'll just top these with just a, a smidge of olive oil and some salt right before they go on the grill. Great. Help that crust even more. Absolutely. All right, done with the press. Let me get that out of the way. All right, you can kind of see the thickness of the patties. They're pretty, pretty thin, yeah, so nice. they cook super quick. Get a little drizzle of olive oil on there and some salt. And you're using okay. kosher salt? Yeah, kosher salt on these. A little more texture. Yeah, I like the texture and the crunch. It, gives, it helps with the crunch. Yeah, you can feel that heat coming out of there. Yeah, those gas burners are on hot. And again, it won't take long with these. About two or three minutes aside. While those are frying up, I top the raw side at this point with some mustard. You give it a flip and then it fries up in its own mustard and its own rendered fat. And it just comes out nice and tangy and it's just perfect. Russ, while these are frying, can you grab me the, uh, the cheese, please? Yeah, sure. Excellent. I like to give these a little scrape under so they don't stick. You can kind of see that fat rendering down that we talked about from the 80-20. Uh-huh. All right, let's give these a little flip. See that crust? Yeah, looking good. Yeah. All right, let's go with some cheese. I'm gonna close the lid. Just give it about two minutes. I'm just gonna give this a quick peek and see how the cheese is doing. Look at that. Nice, very nice. All right, get these on the buns. I can see the crust that mustard makes. That's, right? that's it incredible. Gives, gives it just a nice tang too for the burger. All right, just closed up. I gotcha. Here we go, hand these to you. So yeah, left to my own devices, I would do onion, lettuce, tomato, and mustard. So okay. I already got the mustard. Yeah, we've already Not got really some. Not really much of a ketchup guy. Neither am I. So typical diner style burger, you're going onion, tomato, lettuce, pickle. Okay. A little tanginess from the mustard that's already in there, sweetness and tanginess from the pickles, some crunch from the, from the other veggies. You can just do so many things with these. If you wanted to go like mushroom and Swiss, you could do that. If you wanted to go jalapeno and cheddar, you could go that route. Okay. Tons of things you can nice do with this style of burger. black and blue burger. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, it's that crust that really gets it, but this is, uh, you know, diner's choice in terms of topping. Thank you, sir. Let's do two. Two yep. with tomato? No, we're good, we're good. Okay. Never have enough pickles. <laughs> well, I can, but I'm still gonna follow your lead. Yeah, you gotta have that big bite of pickle in there. All right, let's give these a taste, you think? Yes, for sure. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh, Matt, these are really good. Delicious. I love what that mustard does. <clears throat> I wasn't mentioning just a little bit of tang that that mustard comes mm -hmm. up with. Helps with the crust a little bit. Yeah, About 80, 20, just dripping down your elbows. That's when you know it's a good burger. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm trying to avoid it dripping down my elbows, but thank you for showing this. These We've done two totally different kinds of burgers right. on two different grill surfaces. One with gas on a flap top, one with a ripping charcoal fire on a veggie grate. Right. 
just delicious. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either one.